I was I was asking her like, why did you hit a parked car? Like every uh, and she, I, I'm of course I'm thinking I'm like, well, women can't drive, and then she explained to me it's like, no, it's because I was always taught that this is a foot. There you go. Very We're in nice. the rim shot. Do we Very still nice. have the rim shot thing? I think we got the rim shot. Oh, uh, hey, hey, a rim shot means different things to different people. So, you're thinking yeah, I, of a rim job. <laughs> Folks, it's Tuesday night. Jesus. Uh, thanks for joining us. Obviously, mature audiences only. Uh, welcome aboard. This is the talk show, but we've got a switcheroo tonight. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at the YouTube account. If you want <laughs> cool shit like this or like this, or like my bath mat that everybody's whining, or the shirt that Scott has, or the crappy shirts that Carol designed, because she's horrible at it. Uh, tinyurl.com, RPG swag, which is that way or that one of the two anyway uh folks welcome uh we're going to do a quick recap on the saturday game because as blake has correctly pointed out it was a shit show uh pirates don't use them they're just a giant pain in the ass and then uh blake's had this little brain child i'll call it a brain mite uh that he uh, has added to our impromptu DMing line, and uh, I, th I think you're gonna like tonight. Uh, but it's Blake, so you know, probably not. The, the, the term is brain crotch goblin. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay, um, quick recap, and then uh, we'll turn this bitch over to Blake. Uh, so this past Saturday was a one shot. Again, if you want to see it at a one shot, let us know. This weekend is campaign weekend featuring Taryn as a primary cast member, primary slash permanent now, uh, even though she's up an elephant's ass. That's what I, I heard. Thought. That is what oh I heard. God. I'm it pretty so sure. Enough. Let me roll. <laughs> yes, she yes. is inserted into an elephant. So maybe the party gets her out of it. Maybe she dies of asphyxia. We aren't sure. She can't hear us because she's got shit in her ears. Uh, so anyway. Or turn your safe search off of Google and Google unbirthing. I heard uh, wand belt was a good search, too. <laughs> uh, so, so anyway, uh, Blake and Carol got to play. Uh, Scott was off killing, or uh, he was taking pictures of Bambi's dad. Uh, he couldn't. Uh, they were second level. And they wanted to go help a neighboring nation with a humanoid problem. They had to cross something called the Sargasso Strait, which is a waterway. Fortunately, it's filled with sharp, pointy rocks. Uh, but their drunken captain, who had sex with both Kyle and Carol, which well, is how our that show started, and just fucking <laughs> uh, right into the crapper, because then Carol had sex in the crow's nest. Uh, Carol might have been drunk. We aren't sure what her problem was, but she, her motto was try anything once, and she certainly did. Um, yes. these, uh, these, that their drunken sea captain did, however, know a shortcut across the reef. However, the first shortcut was blocked. Uh, as luck would have it, so was the second one. Uh, then the goblin pirates came in, uh, gave them a good ramming from behind in Sir Joe Keir, and it just went to hell in a handbasket and said, fuck it. We stopped. And it ended with pretty much everyone deciding to turn traitor. Yes. <laughs> I, I think they all voted, and the only one that was still fighting was uh, Ernest. <laughs> but everybody else is like, I, I can't supply like them all. <laughs> yeah, that Ernest. Yeah, he was very proud of himself when he killed that first goblin. He's like, all right, I killed the first goblin. Uh, there's ten more, and they're all coming at you, Dick. <laughs> oh, but it was a shit show rewatch it on youtube uh rewatch it on twitch it's still up there for the time being uh and now i am going or better yet watch murder of the doge murder of the doge or boots murder of, the doge is, murder of the doge is a number one and boots is a number is, is, is one number a yeah, so it was good. Uh, but for the main purpose of this show, because it is going to run a little bit longer than normal, Blake, take it away, your brain chat. All righty, so... That's enough from Blake, so... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you were joking. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, so, no, what, what, we, what we're about to do is we're, uh, we, we, we let Frank tag along just because we needed a fourth, but the three of us, uh, Scott, myself, and Carol, who haven't introduced ourselves, but we're Scott, ah, Carol, crap, and Blake. I forgot that part. We're, we're Scott, Carol, and Blake. <laughs> 
So uh, we're going to be basically be doing just a, a round robin, uh, totally off the cuff. Uh, we 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 are going to be running a scenario, uh, like I said, friends here, so that we have an additional player. Uh, we kind Playing of tantric the bendy, <laughs> who I'm sure who I'm sure is going to uh, make a bowling pin disappear at some point. No doubt, she is but, going to seduce you all with her yeah. charm. Uh -huh. but, uh, that's right. My seduction <laughs> not, skills yeah, are yes. Yeah, the so seduction skills and always always uh, eager for a chance to showcase case those because they are not lacking in any capacity. I took wisdom as my dump stat, so I'm going to be a moron. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we've agreed on a, just a very few ground rules. Uh, we're going to try and keep, uh, we, we, we've set a time limit for ourselves. Uh, we're going to try and bring this to a reasonable, a reasonable conclusion, but we're, we, we haven't even rolled to see who goes first. We, all we know is that we're third level and we're starting in a, in a jail cell. Uh, so that's a fairly good indicator that it's about to be an urban adventure, but who the fuck knows? Mature audiences only. Um, so with that being said, I'd like to go ahead and get underway uh, and uh, roll D20 between the three of us. High goes first, low goes third. Uh, roll off four ties. 11. Nine. Oh my God, nat 20. Oh, great. Carol starts. Kill okay, the show. So, so I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm, gonna go, I'm going to go uh, take a constitutional. <laughs> no it's like a All Meg right. episode on Family Guy. Change the channel, folks. Rewatch last night's game. <laughs> so so, so with, with that being said, uh, I guess we should also introduce who we're going to quote unquote be playing. Right. Because uh, that's not up here. Just so that Carol is also familiar with the characters so that she knows they're Capabilities. Uh, Frank, you said you've brought along your, your limber bard. I am Tantric, the bendy seductress. I'm a super heroine. Who's I, bet I, I bet your heroine is super. Um, I'm going to be reprising Prudence, who's the half-elf knowledge cleric. Uh, Scott? I'm playing um, Simoral. Uh, she's the uh, um, incontinent elf. What class? I forgot about the warlock. Incontinent. Warlock. She's a third level warlock. Did like that some, one. <laughs> yeah. With and, some issues. And, and Carol, it'll be your choice since you're going first whether or not uh, Taryn is in jail with us or if she is going to meet up with us. But she's essentially going to be an NPC follower if she's with us now. First of all, it's not Taryn. It's going to be, I dredged, I was dredged Rainia out of the deeps uh, after she met her. Unfortunately, it's, Rain, it's Rainia, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to roll up another version of Taryn and I don't want to, you know, adjust it in D&D &D Beyond and go back and then have to try to remember who, the way she was set for the campaign. So, you no, know, us old schoolers use paper. Yeah. Well, or, 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 there's the, or there's the copy character function. <laughs> Yes, but, 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 but I will leave. I, will, I, I say it's fair to leave that decision up to you if she is going to already be in jail or if she's going to be up with us. Plus, we already, already have a bard. So, um, how many minutes, by the way, did you want me to go? I, I was going to say two, aim, two. Aim, aim, aim for 20. How much? Aim, aim for 20, 20. Aim for 20. If you, and that's, that'll be your hey, that, that'll be like when they start playing the music at the Oscars, that'll be your wrap it up. <laughs> All right, I'll put it on my phone. I'll have a countdown timer on my phone, so hopefully I won't lose track. It's also about 10 after. We're starting right, right now. <laughs> Hi. So. <laughs> quite, quite, quite the picture you're painting there, dear. <laughs> I'm in trance. All right. So. <clears throat> You all, uh, you all got nailed uh, in a bar fight. You're not particularly, people don't particularly think you're a threat, but you were fighting in a bar and you were probably all drunk earlier in the evening. So they dragged you down and threw you in jail. And this jail is not the type with bars, the ones with walls and a little window in the door. Um, so it's now late, 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 late at night. 
Um, both of you have sobered up by then. And here's what you hear. Um, all of a sudden you hear, I'm gonna go with Scott's idea, by the way. I really like that idea of, um, well, everyone will find out. Uh, it's late, late, late at night. And all of a sudden you hear all sorts of screams and of, tor of terror and pain and such. And then you hear, then you hear nothing for a moment. And then you hear footsteps coming up and your door, you hear the keys, somebody fumbling with keys and then your door is unlocked. But then you hear another set of footsteps, a scream, a thud and footsteps running away. What do you do? I readjust my cleavage. Uh, I check to see if the <coughs> door is open. The door is open. I, I will follow. Um, I'm not. I'm not uh, opening it. I'm just like testing. Right. Like I'm, I'm giving it a jiggle. It's. It seems to be. Those open. are mine. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to have been unlocked. Yes, Scott. Okay. I really like this idea. Hmm. Huh? Um, <laughs> I will sit down and perform an augury. I'm leaving. I readjust myself one more time. Flick the long uh, locks of hair, open up the door, stand there and say, I'm ready, boys. Do I see and anything? You see a dead body at the right outside the door. Loot. <laughs> it's, a loot. Uh, it's a prison guard. You can tell that much. Um, and you can tell just by looking at him. It's not real. It's pretty obvious that he's been slashed horribly to death. There's a blood forming underneath them. So if you want to, he's got a couple silver in his pocket and uh, Does he have a weapon? He's got like a short sword. I'll take it. Alright. Your stuff by the way is in the next room over. So basically I have the cells here and then there's another door which has been closed by the way. There's, the there's, an there's an evidence room. What's that? There's, there's an evidence room where our stuff is essentially there's kept. There's like room next door where your stuff is. Okay. Okay. Uh, then, then I, so then I wouldn't have my symbols, so I couldn't I couldn't be doing my spells. Yeah, I was said they're not going to leave you with your stuff in jail. So. Okay. No. Then well, I mean, yeah. If they if they, they left my I, money makers. Yeah. If they I took mean, my <laughs> necklace. I suppose if you have something that looks innocuous, they'll leave you with it. It's a, it's a, it would be a silver pendant. They'll leave you with that. Okay. I don't see why they would need to take it. So I could, I could garret someone with it. Cy so Moral, you need a stiff one. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, I uh, will probably um, um, follow. Uh, what's his name? Tantric. Her name Tantric. Mm -hmm. Tantric. Her name. I'll probably follow Tantric uh, out the door. Um, and I'll, I, I'll, I'll look for the nearest bathroom to try to relieve myself. Right there on top of him. <laughs> oh, well, no, you know, I, thought tantric, I thought Tantric would just lean back. You know, there is like a little spot in the cell where you could go. It's okay, not okay. I, I, all right. It, it's, it's not like a holding pin. It's an actual set. Okay, all right, gotcha. So I'll, I'll, after relieving myself, that should give me about an hour of, uh, of a, you know, I not have to roll. Then I'll uh, I'll see if I can't find my or Simora will see if she can find her gear. Basically, it was uh, just your know, leather armor and basic you know a quarter staff. She's a warlock, so she's a caster, and um, um, you know that's 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 really about it. She's just going to try to get her basic stuff and uh, get it back on, looking out for uh, threats. That's what she's going to do. Hey, Carol, did uh, the guard have any keys on him? Yeah, actually, he did. That was I'll be he got taking them. On the floor next to him because that's what he used to open your cell. I'll take yeah, that, that, yeah, that's what I was going to be looking for. And and failing that, having seen those be re, uh, retrieved, I would also like to attempt to identify the type of wound if it was if it looks like weapon or animalistic. Oh, what should let's see? I'm trying to remember which check that is. Which check would that be? Maybe. I could pull it. Oh, investigation. So investigation check. Uh, that's a 16 plus 
for 3020. All right, so you think it was made by a sword. Okay, so it's, I, I, I will assure everyone that I, I, I am quite confident we are not dealing with some sort of shape changer. This was, a, this was an intentional attack. I'm gonna go look for my Harley Quinn weapon and armor in that adjacent cell. Is it locked? Yeah, me too. Uh, the adjacent. Wait, are you for? I'm sorry, what are you looking for? In the adjacent. They're going to go oh, get shit. their equipment in the next room. All right, the next room is not a cell. It's but um, basically, it's got a desk in it. Now, wait. So you're going is, to? Is it, is it locked? No. Uh, yeah. Well, no, it's not locked. They unlocked it to get in, and it said you heard the footsteps leaving, but it was not. Uh, it was he didn't take the time to relock it. Okay, so right okay. now we have access to our gear. You have well, you've got to go in the room to find out. Okay, I will boldly go into the room and pass gas once I get in there. <laughs> I was following. I will refrain at this moment in time. I will look for a torch, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm really concerned about getting one piece of gear. It's very important to me. Family heirloom. It's like a little rock that means a lot to me. So I'm really, really passionate about getting in there and getting this stuff. So I'm bursting into that room. Literally. <laughs> So you burst into the room, so it's unlocked. So when you burst in, you see a whole lot of uh, dead bodies of guards. Loot. Oh. <laughs> well, he, he, he can loot. I'm, I'm rummaging through my gear to try to find it. I'm letting the air clear. You and I'm rummaging bitch. through other people's gear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you find various gold pieces and such like that. I'm going to make a perception check. All of us, sir. Sure. Then you're looking around. It's, it's yeah, it's perception. Six. Seven. Seven. Ten. Right. I'm on my first, and I'm on my phone again, so I'm basically scrolling back and forth between pages. Oh, I hate this thing at times. Okay, so what'd you, I'm sorry, I got, I got six, what'd you roll? 10. 10. And I was and 17. 17. Nope, none of you see anything out of the ordinary. You're busy looting. Right, so, let's see, he's busy looting. What are you doing? Um, Who is you? Let's see. I uh, probably change my name okay. here. That might be uh, helpful. Yeah. I know, I'll just say your real names. Frank, what are you doing? Uh, once the air is cleared, I will go in and attempt to locate my gear and then go back out into the hall and keep a watch for any uh, entanglements. All right, you're going in to get your gear. Uh, Scott, what are you doing? I am also going into getting my gear as well. All right, so that's right. You're Sin, Tantric, and... I'm gonna say perpetual. <laughs> it, it's, it's too many P's. I, I got I got P P P P P P P P. I know uh, that's the thing. All right. That's what Scott did. Yep, it's precisely in, in yield chamber pot. All right, so give me one sec here. I'm actually trying to quickly build a character. <laughs> um, I know I could just use radio, but it... but, but yes, no. I, but, uh, this is just for for color while Carol does her thing. But yes, no, that shield is also very important to me because that was bequ bequeathed to me by the former uh, uh, mother superior of 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 my uh, of, of my of my order. Order. Thank you. So I I, I I am very intent upon also getting that back as well. The only thing important to me are these. Because these buy my drinks. Right. So who went into the, who was going into the area? I'm going to say the area is actually like a separate little area. Simoral so was first, then Prudence, and then me, because Simoral can't contain her. I, I, I was, I had assumed that I was after Tantric because I was investigating the body. Yeah. I'm not okay. going in until the air clears. <laughs> okay. Well, well then yes, if, if, it's, if, if, if there is a delay, I will still go ahead and enter before you all. Oh, okay. So, well, as, so 
uh, Samara, how do you say, Sin, Sin was the first one in, right? Yeah. Okay. So Sin, out of the shadows next to because none of you actually picked up on this, uh, all of a sudden a sword comes in to hit you. Ah. I will make a surprise attack and then we can all roll initiative. Do you have to do a bladder check? Oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot about that part. <laughs> all right, uh, it, my, my bladder check is um, I, I have to roll a d12 and anything higher than a 10, I, I lose something, either, either number one or number two. And that, that's number 50, 50. two, number two. That, 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 that eight, means whether the digit after the so one is a one or two. I, I'm, I'm, I'm able to hold it in, and, uh, and and I don't, I don't shat myself. So I hate to say this. You killed him outright. I want a freaking nat twenty. The good news is you don't have your shit on, so. Anything, it's an AC-10. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I guess that is something we should go ahead and, and, and put the pause on Carol's timer is establish house rules for 20s for, for crits. Because that oh, do, I, yeah, we do, do, same as we, always? Are we gonna, if you do the same as always, then you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to do the game because I don't know your rules that well. Otherwise, I just go would go with the um, double. Just same as double always. Let's do. Since, same as always. Is since we're third level, it's it's just a natural hit. Mm -hmm. If it were fourth level, then there'd be idiosyncrasies. Okay, so it's just double damage, and I double all of it, right? Including the just, sneak? just the roll, just the roll just die, the not the uh, bonuses. Right, right, which is bad because it's three d six for this level of. Twice. <laughs> I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> I'm not really trying to kill anybody here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Well, well, well no, 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 Car Carol. I'm sorry. If we're going by Frank's rules, you don't double anything. If yeah, because we're we're third level, so there's no doubling. It's just okay. a really good hit. You can only get, you can only do crits against other pieces. This is gonna be bad enough because I rolled. <laughs> I roll two sixes and two fives, so that's twenty-two points. Plus, let's see, so you get any? St you must have a stat modifier here. Uh, plus three. So what is it? Was oh, that twenty-two plus twenty-five points of damage? So you get shanked right in the kidney. It's it's forty-six. <laughs> Seems appropriate. It's forty-six. It's three d six for the sneak attack. I'm gonna and slam the door on you, motherfuckers, and lock you in. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, Carol, you said two fives and two sixes. Right, it's four d six, three d six for the for the for the for the sneak and one d six for the weapon. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay, okay. It's a rogue. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So it's sneak attack. That's why I was like, am I rolling all this or not? Okay. So yeah. No, it's a rogue. It's just a good hit. Fine. I said I'll play by your rules. Was all there right, a door on this room? What's that? Was there a door on this room? There's yes. like an opening. Okay. It's just opening. In, in, entering the equipment room was described as a closed as a closed door. Well, no, 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 no. The to to get in from the cell area, there was a door, but into the where your stuff's being held, it's just an it's just an. Yeah, opening. the door led into the office, oh. and then the archway led into the back locker room. Exactly. Got oh, it. okay, okay. So right now, Sin is the only one that's actually in there. The other two of you are behind. So go ahead and roll initiative, anyways. I, I would see that that's there's a wince of pain. I'm assuming. Eighteen. All right, and I'm not going to re-roll every round. I know that's what we usually do, but uh, yeah, but for brevity, I agree with you. No, and uh, you, you see a, a tremendous amount of blood gush out of her uh, of her guts, and uh, she um, bumbles over, almost almost dead. She's right. She's right about to pass out. I uh, seeing the blood. I take my turn to search for wereboards. Uh, okay, Prudence, what's your initiative? Eight. <laughs> All right, Sim, what's your initiative? Sims uh, was twelve. Uh, okay, and it is twelve, and I am that. Okay. Well, you are first, Tantric. 
Uh, I'll give you that love and touch at second level. That's uh, kind of uh, 12 hit points back as I gently caress your ankle in a loving fashion. Soft. Oh, that feels so much better. As I give my love to you. You know, I, Simone doesn't really move that way, but she's kind of maybe she might. considering, you know, she might. That's right. She might. You know, she's. And on the verge there a little bit, you know, she is very. So did, hey, did you fart when I touched you? <laughs> no, Carol, no, Carol. no, but she may have peed just a little bit. Am I, am I correct in assuming that we have not had the opportunity to retrieve our equipment as well? You guys have it. I stole the sword, bitches. <laughs> no, it's true. You have not retrieved your equipment. It's right in here. Okay. Can you that that somebody wants to kill everybody for some unknown reason that one of you guys will hopefully figure out at the end of the night uh i'm leaving that open um so let's see so that was it so the rogue is gonna go again do i want to well, let's see there's i guess it's going after sin again hey leaning down her. my ample bosom was on display Maybe are, are we are we're three we're three stooging this doorway essentially correct yeah i'm just reaching in you can try. You can try to shove by too. Um, well, so Samoral's on the ground. Take advantage. Samoral, wait. So wait. Samoral, so did you actually fall? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm still up. I'm still up. Well, that's fine. He missed because that's um, <clears throat> that is a grand total of nine. No, he that will not hit my armor class. I had tremendous <laughs> dexterity. And actually, his bonus action, he's going to take a second shot because he's got two weapons. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Up 14. That oh, yeah. will hit me. All right. But that hits me. He's got no one really to play with. He's going to uh, just do standard damage. Uh, that's crappy. That's five points of damage. To you. Okay. God, I just healed your ass. I know, I know. She literally healed my ass. Maybe because, you know, that, that's great. The ass is feeling really good right now. I didn't reach that far. <laughs> that's going to cost you extra. Oh, oh, I pay double for that in Vegas. All right, all right. That's true, they do. All right. Um, so who's, uh, who's up next? It's your turn. It's my it's turn? It's your turn. Okay, well, I will, uh, I will Eldridge blast this. This, this son of a bitch. <laughs> that's, that, that's that's something I'll do. All right. That that's will be a sixteen. Uh, that will hit. Did I not give this guy armor? That will hit. All right. So that's going to do ten points of damage. And I will. I will. Um, well, I, I'm not going to disengage and provoke an attack of opportunity, but uh, I'm I'm just going to um, full round action, anyways. Yeah. So you can't. Not, yeah. <laughs> but could could move could move. Yeah, right, I mean uh, I can move, but that's fine. Like Jagger. He'll shank you. <laughs> uh, prudence. It is your turn. Uh, so. <clears throat> I am going to reach my hand betwixt the legs of Cymoral at this at this unknown assailant. You are getting a lot of action. I know. <laughs> I really uh, am. I mean, a, I'm just don't really would, know what to do about a, all this. Would a 24 hit? A uh, 24 would hit. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> We're third level. Uh, would a 37 hit? <laughs> Timer just went up. I, I had I had a plus six and an eight and it rolled an eighteen, so it's a twenty-four. Uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm I'm second level inflicting wounds upon this person, so it's going to be four d ten. Please kill him. So that's uh, eleven twenty-four necrotic. Okay, you take him down, and that would be my twenty minutes. So who's next? Uh, Scott's up. Uh, where where did we? Uh, I left it on you to de to decide where uh, Raina was. Oh, Raina can be kind of 
Fanny would have been in jail. That, no that was her. So, so, so she is just so she is just now essentially rousing. Wow, that went really fast. All right, that she is yeah. she's behind you guys. Yes, yeah, she, she's just now rousing or something like that. I was rousing or, last night. I said, or, or her clothes, for all I know. It okay. is her. <laughs> right, so 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 we're passing over to me, right? Yep. Yes. Uh, okay. And 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 just. For simplicity's <laughs> sake, uh, I, I suggest we say Cymoral is going to fall back and collect herself, bandage her wounds, and will be an NPC for the next 20 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that That's more or less how I was going to play. It was just uh, <laughs> it my turn to DM. She was going to be rummaging through stuff and then go back and, uh, and um, take a really good long number two. That was That's what's, what, what she was going to do. <laughs> Um, you can go but, in the hole. I, I have ample reading material. Yeah, well, she was. She probably needed because after all that, and after a hard night of drinking, that really, really loads her up, and she needs to evacuate or unload. So, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I call those the dads. The day after drinking shit. <laughs> so, as we find ourselves in this dark, dank jail, the first thing you you uh, not the first thing, but one thing you recognize is that this is not an underground jail, right? This is one of these areas to where you you know you're above ground because the construction seems to be brick and mortar construction and not i have not observed the construction yet i want to investigate my attacker okay I, i'm just saying this is general environment okay just just basically you know okay. you're not underground marshall dillon? Say. marshall dillon you you you, you, you haven't been thrown in a dungeon under the keep right you're in a constabulary oh, so type jail oh okay. that's all that's all. I just wanted to clarify that one point. Okay. So um, after uh, after the uh, would be assassin that you don't know what happened uh, has fallen down, what are we all doing? I am going to allow Cyril <coughs> to remove herself from above my arms, and I'm going to go and investigate this this personage. I'm going to go get my shit and uh, give Cymoral a tender neck rub. Ask her if she's okay. You okay, sweetheart? Okay. So <laughs> give me give me an investigation roll there, Prudence. 19 plus 25. Okay, 25. You uh you, 20, you 20, notice 20, that 23. I'm sorry, 23. You <laughs> notice that he is a uh he's a a it's a he, okay. It's a, it's a yeah. male um um rogue, uh, as you see, uh, armed with a with a pretty nice little short sword. But you can tell that he's been running for a while. He he has really been exerting himself. Forrest Gump. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I mean he's he was sweating. Uh, he kind of stinks of sweat. Uh, he um you know he his clothes look a little bit torn and tattered. Can I get can I get a smell perception check? Sure, you can. Yeah, go ahead and roll me a perception check. You smell cymoral. <laughs> that, that's a, that's a natural twenty. So. Okay, you actually 20, pick up a slight. On a you actually pick up a slight hint of what maybe you know smells like a graveyard, actually, right? Oh. Like uh, almost like something like you think uh, you 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 smell the uh, the very unmistakable uh, hint of um, you know rotting flesh is on it, as, as if maybe not, maybe not he, necessarily he, originating from my decaying touch. No, no, no. This is like, you know, your, your first impression is that looking at it and the smell and everything else like that, you think this guy may have been digging around a graveyard. You start to find little bits of, of his boots and, uh, and uh, it just smells like he's been around corpses. Okay. Uh, is there anything on his personage of note? Um. You find a a small brooch that that he had stuck inside a a um, an internal pocket. You you rolled very high, so this was something that you can see. Um, you know, um, you would hide uh, if uh, if a trying to uh, if if you wanted to hide something from from being searched, you would put it in in this area because it in, in his leather armor. It looks like it's just part of the leather armor, like one of the hard pads in there. But it's been 
you know, you see like a small little area for you to slip something in there. And upon easy inspection, you would just feel the pads of the armor. But in between it there, you kind of see that there's a space and there's a golden brooch inside that looks quite valuable. Ooh. I will... I will collect my items, and then I would like to ritualistically identify it. Oh, we got to get out of this fucking jail, man! <laughs> okay, so, 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 explain to me, explain to me the ritual that that that, that you're going to go on. I'm casting the identify spell, but I'm essentially going to go into a trance to do it, so that I'm not burning a spell slot. Okay, so uh, it takes ten minutes to do. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. The, the, it, it, it does come as, as, as magical, and uh, this is as, as some type of, uh, probably you would say it's, a, it's like a medallion of, of a, basically I would call this like a, a medallion of protection, plus one. So plus one to uh, saves, plus one to um, um, uh, attack and damage and such as that. But instead of being a ring or a cloak, it's in, the, it's in the shape of a medallion. It, d- it does not require attunement, so uh, you would just have to wear it. However, however, on the back of it, you also notice, upon close inspection, a very specific family crest, the one of the more prominent families in this town. Can I get a history check? You can roll that, yeah. Uh, 14 plus 18. Okay, an 18 on that check is going to give you the information that that it is from one of the more prominent uh, merchant families in town, not the founding member of the town, you know, the but but maybe one of the two or three most prominent families in town. Uh, and that that this goes back, you know, everyone kind of knows this family. Um, um, and would, would, you know, would, I, would I know how he made his his living? fish merchant mercantile? Um, there's some questionable things there. They they kind of say he was involved in maybe some slave trading, actually. But, you know, that was never proven, never proven. Uh, but his his exploits were well known in the, uh, you know, Thieves Guild and stuff like that. The family's very legitimate now. Very, very legitimate. But they were just saying it's um, um, the, the family name the is Corleones. Uh, we're, we're, no, we're no, actually, 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 these are the Kennedys. So they uh, we're uh, looking for Bill Clinton. We're looking for Bill Clinton. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's it, it's it's a respectable family for many generations. They had maybe some what was their seed money may have been done in the slave trade. No one really knows. But uh, but, you know, apparently they have a very, you know, prominent vault in the uh, in the you know cemetery where all their ancestors and all the people are buried, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, apparently, you know, Lore says that, you know, all their protection, all their items, no one has tried to break into the family vault and steal the goods for a long, long time. So, you know, no one knows why that information has been lost, but you are able to get that from, from your, from your ritual spell that you cast. Suggestion. Put that fucking brooch back and we use it as a get out of jail free card because if we're caught holding it. Got a point there. Now let's have everyone roll. Let's have everyone roll a perception check, please. By the way, there I was sort of tagging along. So I went Jesus. Up. <laughs> oh that's, only, that's only a nine. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Prudence. Yeah, beats me. I had a nine. Oh, and Tantra God. got a two. All right. All, all you can hit. You you think? Rainia is that your name, Rainia? Rainia, yeah. Rainy, 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 yeah. Rainy, um, I, I'm just, <laughs> I, I don't know, I won't be able to do it. Rainy, uh, ah, like Rainy. Rainy, Rainy, you. No one can. You think, <laughs> you, think you, you think you smell, you think you smell a slight hint of, you know, decaying corpses. Very slight. Slight hint of decaying corpses. It's it's very, very slight. <laughs> is the smell coming from a direction? The smell is coming from it. Now, when you're exiting your cell to your right and ahead was the room where your stuff is. This is coming from the left. Okay. So, so this is coming from it. If you're coming out of your cell to your left down a hallway, 
uh, where, where, where it's outside, okay, um, basically to where you know the exit of this area is. Uh, maybe there's a hallway about 60 feet and a slight draft coming from left to right, and that's where the smell seems to be coming. Hey, guys, I smell like dead things, corpses. I, I, that, I smell it, too. It's coming off of this person. Is it no. cymoral? No. I'm it's, asking if it's cymoral. Well, from the hallway down there, and I'll point to the, you said the left, I believe, so. Yeah, I did, yeah. Point down to the left. I'm like, no, it's smelling, I'm smelling it from down there. So what I, would you I'm, all I'm like essentially to do? out for 10 minutes, so do what you guys want. Uh, <laughs> I, will, I will start to slowly but provocatively meander down that hallway to see if I can see anybody willing to die for. All right, so give me give me another perception check there, Tantric. I'm gonna go four. Go I've doubled my perception. <laughs> I want to go down that way too to scout, but I want to sneak. So I want to I want to roll. Give me a self roll. Because that it's is dark. Really it's it's early early morning, four o'clock in the morning. That would be a twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. You 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 can blend into the shadows very, very good. And give me another perception check as well. Because I have large buxom chesty areas, Rainia. What's that? I have <laughs> large buxom <laughs> chesty areas. Hide in That's my like shadows, sweetheart. Thirteen. Yeah, I'm hiding in a shadow, but you blind my way. I'm a thirteen. <laughs> thirteen was your thirteen. Four. <laughs> what was your perception roll? My, well, my perception was 13. The stealth was like 24. Yeah, yeah. So you're hiding, in, and uh, you're pretty convinced that you're moving into the direction. You move about 20, 30 feet down the 60-foot corridor. A few other, other cells that are all empty are to your left and to your right as you're moving down this corridor. You're, you're pretty convinced that the smell, yes, is coming from, from outdoors, uh, or at least from the outside you know, part of the exit. You can't hear any sounds. Everyone seems to be... You know, the other areas are asleep. Um, you, you do see up ahead at the main guard headquarters, um, you know, about 40 feet away from here, you, you see another body laying down, um, another guard, uh, you assume laying down, um, you know, torchlight, you know, you can more or less pick out the same thing. There's another guard laying down as well. You don't know what killed him or anything else like that. So Prudence is, is um, doing that. Um, finishing up a ritual. Tantric and Rainia are 30 feet away right now from Prudence, uh, and Simoral's on the shitter. So um, that's, that's the status of the NPCs. Uh, what are you all, what are you all going to do now? Rainia, do you, we want to free one of these prisoners, send them up as bait? That seems kind of mean. I mean, I mean, I Hold can on. Keep... I'm uh, chaotic neutral, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right i am the producer oh so no i was i can probably i can sneak pretty well i could probably sneak further down and get to the front door smells like it's come from outside smells like somebody died right. I'm not even near some moral cell so all right, so so you're able to move another thirty feet. Um, uh, okay. Give me another stealth roll, please. Oh come on! Boo. Do you see anything? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> right, you're 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 moving into the light, making it a little bit more difficult for you to maintain totally stealthy appearance. However, you don't see anyone there. You, you know, you don't see anyone Wait. at all. Give me uh, give me another perception check, please. <laughs> I was going to say. Her or both of us? Both of you. Wow. That was good this time. One. Four again. 30, 20. Four. Tantric is, is staring at her tits. And, um, <laughs> and I am happy. Really impressed. Tantric has, has, apparently has a bustier jerked up too high, so they're covering her face. Okay. So, so... Tantric um, is moving Rainier, forward. <laughs> you, uh, you, you can hear in the distance, maybe about um, as the corridor would turn to the right, a shuffling of feet, uh -oh. and um, um, uh, the smell has gotten quite strong. 
And um, it's like, you know, you hear this like, boom, boom, boom. Coming you think someone is coming, coming into your direction. Yes. Uh, all right. I'm going to retreat. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm going to retreat back towards uh, Prudence. Rousing yeah, from my ritual. Uh, did you see anything? Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Carol. I, I didn't, at that time, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I didn't want to interrupt Prudence, so I, I didn't get it that out. No, as I go by you, I whisper, I'm like, there's something coming, and it's probably undead, or it's associated with undead. Let's let's get back, because there's lots of shuffling. The way, okay. the way I've always played my rituals is that I, I'm essentially not paying any attention, so that falls on deaf ears. No, I said that to Tantric on the way by. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. Okay. I pour so, out a flask of oil in front of me and step back about five feet. Oh, that's so a good Prudence, thing. Prudence, give me a quick, uh, a quick understanding. Um, do you have the brooch on you right now? Yes. Because I'm still identifying it, so I would have to be in contact to identify it. Okay. So you, you hear this thump drag, thump, drag, thump, drag. It's actually, it's, it's pretty prevalent now. And as you've retreated back to the cells to where you're in, you see this one creature turn the corner, it's not a zombie. Uh, it, it looks a little bit more healthy than that. Uh, and uh, it just points its finger there and just says. Coin, coin. Hey, but hey, for the record. The brooch. Give uh, me the brooch. By the way, for the um, Scott, I would go, I would have gone and stealth somewhere in that room. That's fine. Give me a stealth roll. Because uh, I know this thing's coming. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, uh, 15. Is it going to step on my oil? Uh, yeah, it's going to go right through the oil. I mean, has, has, has you, you, it, it, it's about 20 feet away from the oil. It's, it's walking in your direction. It doesn't look aggressive per se. And you can give me an arcana or history check to see if you can identify what type of creature this is. Natural one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you think it's your uncle. Cool. You have to be, you have to be trained in this, right? Or do you, you know what? I'm going to step no, to don't. the side and allow it to pass and see if I can make it across the oil before it does, but not make any aggressive movements. I'm going to risk it. You can give me a you can give me a check if you wish. Um, you probably don't have to have expertise in this. Expertise will only give you proficiency. Oh Uncle no, that's... Arthur. <laughs> I, I, I have seen where people do play, but you can only make a check if you are proficient, just to help keep the playing field level. Just that, yeah. that's a that's a discretionary choice no but you, you what all you can really find know is that this the smell uh that you've been smelling is emitting from this character and it's and it's yeah. not a zombie it doesn't look like it's decaying it looks like it's in pretty pretty healthy shape it, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like a vampire or anything like that right we're not talking about sharp pointy teeth we're just looking at an obsessive creature that's that's focused on one thing and moving in one very specific direction, looking for something. And just, he's searching out there saying, you know, my brooch, where's my brooch? It's, it's, it's essentially concealed in my hand though, for, 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 for the record. Yeah, it, it's, that's, that's, that's fine. It's, it's, abs I mean, it can be concealed, but it's. Yeah, I'm, I'm not just like holding it up. Like, I wonder what the hell this is. Yeah. So can 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 he see you, or are I mean, are you in an area? Because I've essentially I've essentially sat down, presumably on the cell side of the oil spill. Cell side of the oil spill. Okay. Well, the oil spill's in the hallway. I I did not retreat with Rainia. I poured my oil out and I just stepped back about ten feet towards toward towards which direction? Towards you guys. And that's what I'm saying. I'm on, I'm on, cause that's the side of the cells. Yeah. You're still in the, I think you're still in where they, I, I was under the, got the shit. That, that the oil is essentially 
blocking yeah. our path to the exit from the correct yes, yes. okay yeah. that, so he 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 points at you prudence and say shall return my brooch or i swear vengeance upon you that is my 20 minutes okay uh, now before before we resolve that is my ritual done yes your ritual is done okay it would have taken him that long to get there okay uh Prudence's first action, though, is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and we're, we're going to resolve this for maybe another 30 seconds because Prudence is going to stand and turn undead. Okay. Give me a roll. Uh, it's not a roll for turn undead. You need to give me a hit point total. No, it's a uh, it's a I want to say a wisdom save from the creature if it is if it is uh, indeed okay. dead. I think He's so. He's actually immune. Okay, then. Fair enough. She has lost her channel divinity. Uh, she is going to fall back. And uh, she is going to cast Warding Bond upon Cymoral. Okay. Uh, retre- retreating to the crappy A. Uh, <laughs> so Cymoral so now has plus one AC and saving throws but prudence is also damaged when you're damaged but you are resistant <coughs> to all damage okay so uh I, I i do think that's my 20 minutes and um the only thing i can say is that this is a revenant so uh whoever whoever is uh, taking over uh, from yeah, DMing I'm, here. I'm, I'm, clo- I'm closing this out so that's that's okay. helpful inform- information but you are now officially resistant to all damage you have plus one to your ac and all saving throws, Prudence is also going to be damaged. If you go outside of 30 feet from her, that spell breaks, but she is going to follow you about 30 feet behind. Okay, okay. Does, does the Revenant walk past me and through the oil? Yeah, 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 he does. He, he gets about you know 10 feet away from everyone and calls for his brooch to be returned or he's swearing vengeance upon Prudence. And, uh, and then Prudence did the, did the things that they did and, uh, you know, he's giving time and right now is, yes, walk right through the oil or standing in the oil, wherever, wherever you, I, we don't have a map, so I can't really. Exactly I, I, I guess, I guess I need to know why this character is immune to turn undead before I proceed. Because the revenant is immune revenant. to being turned. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. So I, okay. I will suggest to everybody, uh, give him back the fucking brooch. We're going to get murders pinned on us. We need to. Get the frick out of here and then readjust my cleavage again just to make sure it's spot on. Yeah, but it's high. You can't see anything. But I can uh, assume. Uh, I, I guess one more point of order, Scott, real quick. Did anyone yeah. see Prudence collect this? Because she would have sequestered it to, to identify it. She wouldn't have necessarily shown it around. Uh, no, the, the, this is one, uh, this is a creature that can unerringly I'm track. About, I'm talking about the brooch. Would, she, would, 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 would the other party members be aware of it? No, no, the other party okay. members would not be aware. No, uh, Simora was dedicated to get her things and not and not looking at you at all. It was okay. very because she has a family heirloom that she had to get back that she's okay. very concerned about. So, so they just seem to. So, from an outsider's perspective, this thing is just approaching prudence. Correct. It's just approaching prudence. Okay. Yes. That's, that's what I needed. Okay. So, uh, it, it, this creature is continuing to approach. Uh, it has passed into your reign of, or your, uh, your slick of oil tantric. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and have it make a dexterity save to make sure that it doesn't fall prone as it's, uh, going through here. If it does, I'm calling for a torch. Uh, that's a 14 plus, uh, I'm going to say that it probably passes its deck save. So it's, it's that's lumbering, it. it's lumbering, but it is somewhat hindered by it, but it is still continuing to adamantly and purposefully approach, uh, Cymoral and Prudence. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have everyone roll an initiative just out of the gate, just to get that out of the way. If we end up needing it, we end up needing it. 19. Uh, Finally. Right, BB, 18. Nine. Okay. 
I finished my constitutional. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, and, and uh, Frank, what did you have? 19. That's what I thought, okay. Uh, you had 19. I thought you had 19, Frank. Yeah, he 19. He just, he just oh, so say, I think you beat me by a point. Okay, there we go. Now I have that written down. Uh, I'm pulling up the character information for the Revenant. Um, he 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 is oblivious to the rest of you, uh, but he seems very much intent on uh, on on approaching them, uh, completely ignoring you. You you ha you do have free access out of this room. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and because it wasn't already established, I'm going to go ahead and, and remind you all that you are technically a party and you have connections to each other, you are free to leave, but these aren't strangers to you, so. Uh, point of order, order Hobo Inc. Point of order, I'm the DM now. <laughs> these so fuckers have... killed the guards! You <laughs> say <laughs> party members have party members throw party members under the bus that's how it works in this yes I'm, I'm like no you you are free to leave but these aren't it's not like these you were thrown in with strangers these are essentially no. your companions for the previous evening right right What's, but wait is prudence gonna give up the no you don't know prudence has that i will follow behind the revenant eager to see uh what this amulet portion it's so, so, all about so you're, you're going to retreat behind it and then follow it as when it i poured the oil and it came through i just flattened myself against the wall and let it walk right past me since right, i don't right. have so, so now you're going to fall back and now i'm going to circle back, around behind it back, back in as it continues towards the towards these the guys and do yeah. my uh high stage model walk uh give me a deck save <laughs> Well, I am on this side. It's hard to walk in oil and high heels. No, I'm I'm on this side of the oil. You would have had to pass through it. Yeah. Seventeen and okay, you save plus three, so dirty you twenty. You, you save, and your gams look marvelous. Of course they do. This, this is right, this so, is market uh, right here. This is market material. So, um, um, I. I don't know who's next in the initiative order. I think uh, so if we, we haven't we haven't come to initiative yet because no one's making a hostile action. Essentially, now all we have is a lumbering creature approaching you, Simoral, and Prudence, who has just uh, bolstered your your defenses. And all right, uh, so um, with, with, with Tantric falling behind and Rainia still concealed within the shad shadows. Yeah. So Simoral is a chaotic good creature. And uh, I will I will roll um, I'll roll an Arcana check to see if I can identify it. That is an eighteen plus uh, four, so a twenty-two. I think at third level, no, you've never at third level, no. No, third level, fair enough. Okay, so I don't know what it is, um, and I'm I'm. If the, I, if I the knowledge clerk wouldn't have been able to identify it, I'm going to say that probably no one else is going to be familiar with it. No, no, that's fair. That, that's, that's 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 absolutely fair. Um, I, I I mean, I'm a good creature, and I'm pretty convinced this is an undead creature, uh, and I have no ability to turn it. But I am going to. Uh, I am you going. Would have also been able to observe that it did not. It was unaffected by that. It was unaffected by the turn. I'm I'm going to uh, say something along the lines of, "Get out of here, foul beast! Foul, foul, undead!" Spawn of hell? We, we, we mean you no harm. I have to go to the bathroom. It, it 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 doesn't respond to you. It it has your your words seem to have no effect. Although it does, it you, you do just barely notice that it's you're you're drawing its attention, but but not fully. Like it's it's still very intent and it's holding out its hand. And lumbering forward still continuously as as though uh, Frankenstein. Okay, Not Frankenstein's monster. No, no, few people don't realize this, but Doctor Frankenstein was also an incredible alcoholic and had a problem with lumbering himself. Ah, well, you know. 
So now I'll uh, I'll I'll continue to follow and say, hey, you. Actually, hey, actually I'm, I'm, going, gonna... I'm going to go ahead and say that as it as its gaze falls upon you, uh, or or I, you are going to fall under its vengeful glare because it has sworn vengeance upon prudence. Mm. And because you are essentially now 30 feet within Prudence's range, that you are also subject to that. So I'm going to go ahead and need a wisdom okay. center from you. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 15. Uh, that's what you needed. Yes. I, I, I was a nat 15. I have no bonus on wisdom at all. <laughs> so I was like, this is a straight 15. It's a DC, it's a DC, it's a DC 15. So okay. You, okay. You, are not, you are not intimidated. Uh, b- by by this oath of vengeance uh, okay. b- being uttered. And that, w- I'm going to go ahead and say that that's a hostile enough action that we're going I was, to- I was pushing it. I'm, I'm trying to get it to, 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 to respond to me, yeah. Yeah, that's a hostile, well, no, the, 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 the glare the is, a, okay, yeah. is, is a hostile enough action that we're going to fall into initiative. Uh, the Revenant had a 19 plus two, so it has a 21. Uh, then Frank's up, then Carol's up, then Scott is up, just for the record. So, uh, seeing that you are unaffected by its by its gaze, uh, <coughs> it is going to just, again, continue to lurk forward, and it is going to, uh, the way I described it, Prudence is essentially using you as a human shield. You're and fucked. it's going it's going to lash out. It's going to lash out against you. It's it's not going to use its multi-attack, but it is going to lash out against you in in a, in like a soccer mom arm save kind of way, like trying to like <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. like, like in, in, in an attempt to displace you. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be uh uh, 19 to hit. Me? Yes. Yeah, that because, hits me. Yes, because like I, like I mentioned, you are essentially now a human shield. Right, right. Yes. She's, it thumped the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, okay, so you are going to... Remember now, you are resistant to all damage and your AC is plus one. Right. But, uh, but, but a 19 hits me. Okay, so that is going to be... Five plus four, nine, round it down is four. Nine points of damage, okay. No, 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 you're resistant. It's Everything's halved. Yeah, I know. So I, I, I nine points of damage, I did four. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I got it right, yeah. Yeah, round it down four, that's bludgeoning. Uh, Prudence, right. also win, oh, Prudence also winces at this. Okay. Uh, that's essentially going to be its turn. It is in direct melee combat with you. Uh, with uh, Frank being up. Uh, since these guys can't see what I'm going to do, I am going to save their ass, uh, PM. Oh, okay. That's one of the fun parts about being a DM is because you never read those until... Yeah, but you know what? As a player, you always bitch at the DM for not reading it, so fuck you guys! <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, so. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and divulge this just so everyone else is aware. Uh, he has essentially snuck off behind, outside, outside of the cell. Uh, I'm going to say within this turn, you're not able to make it outside of the constabulatory. Gotcha. I'm It'll going be a- for help. Yep. Well, no, he's snuck off outside. Out, he's, he's left you on your own. What did... So... I'm so, going so, for help! You didn't, you didn't shout that. They don't know it. He snuck off on his own. That's for true. I am fucking you guys over. You hear the <laughs> slamming of a door and a lock because I have the keys. <laughs> it's a bunch of undead outside waiting for you. What? Oh, so uh, your your action is essentially going to be to to dash and move. And you, I, I will say that at the beginning of the next round, you are outside in the uh, and, and able to, yeah, and able to in, interact with anyone there. Gotcha. Uh, and, and I will roll to see if there are, because it's still four in the morning. Uh, up next, we have uh, Carol. All right, then I'm going to go, and I'm going to, well, since this is turning into a fight, 
because he hasn't gotten what he came here for, I'm going to go take a couple swings at him. So dash over to him. 13. You like that one? <laughs> Coward. <laughs> I'm going to save your ass. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna by, by your, you mean your ass. Yeah. I'm, I'm peddling my ass. No, no we, we've already seen your ass. 18? Does an 18 uh, hit? Eight, yeah, yeah. 13 is all you need to hit this thing. Oh, okay. And then, so then that will hit two. What if I get a roll? So why I get one sneak attack. What's my sneak attack? My yes, yes. Because it, it is technically engaged with Simoral. So it'll be 4d6 because, wait, let me check that. Rapier, well, rapier is a d8, never mind. <coughs> Short sword. Uh, I, because you were concealed though, Carol, I'm going to go ahead and give you advantage on the attack to make sure it's not a crit. Oh, okay. Just the first one, right? I assume. Well, well uh, yeah, on your first attack, I'm going to give yeah. you advantage on it. And um, I've on the die, so that's not a crit. Okay. Um, so that is 9, 10, 13, that was uh, 16 points. Okay. Uh, I am also going to go ahead and de-level this, I, I'm pulling up the character, just, just for our viewers at home. I Reading this on the fly, Scott has created a creature outside of the scope of uh, third level players. Yeah, yeah. they're <laughs> fine. So I'm going yeah, to But so I'm the puss for running. I'm going to de level I'm going to de level this on the fly. None of you know what it is, so you but don't if, know. Tim Scott would have put something in that would be really hard to kill. I so, remember your little your little one show, your two yeah, shot yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so I oh, instead, <laughs> instead of barely being phased by that with hundred and thirty six hit points, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> It's almost like I fucking looked that shit up and then decided to run. I'm going to, I'm going to, again, this is for our viewers at home, one of those uh, on the fly type things. I'm going to go ahead and de-level that, and I'm going to reduce that. I'm not going to tell our characters what I've reduced that to, but I'm just going to inform them that it does actually seem to have a significant impact on it. Because oh, cool. that's what a good DM does. They improvise. Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. Or you don't put something overpowered in the game in the first place. Hey, <laughs> bigger the risk, bigger the reward. Hey, hey, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't start the shit. I just had to deal with it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is Simoral's turn. Okay, so, so, so Simoral will uh, pull out oh, her. Oh, I, I guess, I guess, hang on, uh, because it's relevant. I'm going to go ahead. And, Prudence has a natural one, so she's after you. Ah, yeah, okay. So I will cast a uh, witch bolt at the at the little some bitch, and mm -hmm. um, that's um, okay. Great spell. What what do I do? No, I I have to hit you, and I rolled oh, okay. a nine, so I did not hit you. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Uh, Prudence is going to go, and what she is going to do is she's going to uh, healing word Simoral at first level. Uh, so you're going to take back uh, seven hit points. Good, I need them. She is so, and, and just I'm going to tell you this so that you can do this. She's a, she's got three more first level spells. She's going to heal you with them, assuming she takes minimal damage in the meantime. Okay, because she is. The heel, bitch. Yeah, so so you so you can essentially cast yourself a free cure wounds. Holy uh, cow! All four of us were playing chicks. <laughs> I, I yeah, I didn't realize the first time that Simora was a chick. Okay, so that brings us back to the top of the order. It is the revenant. Uh, it is going to feel the stab from behind it. Yeah, and it is going to turn to confront you. Dun, and, dun, it, dun. And, it, and it is going I to. Thinking that, I was thinking that some of those heels might have to come my way. Well, well I, I, yes, assuming no one else takes damage, but Simoral is <laughs> the one that she's warded with, and she wants to keep that up. Ha <laughs> 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 Because she is prudent. Because she is prudent. Um, 
So she is going, or the, the revenant is going to turn to face you, demand the brooch. Of and, me? Of you. I mean, and I go, I have the brooch. And it is going to, my friend, yo. And, and it is going to give you, and it's going to attack. I'm going to see if one of those is also going to go elsewhere. Okay. No, no, both even. So they're both going to go after you. Uh, so that's a, that one, first one misses. The second one is a 15 plus. That hits. The 15 okay. hits. That will be. Oh, you, oh, you're in luck. That's only seven damage. All Bludge, right. Bludgeoning. He hasn't sworn vengeance against it, right? Uh, he, already there. Swore, he already swore vengeance. I'm going to because you said that when he was approaching the group, i.e., right. You're right. That's, you're right. that's you're why right. you had to make that paralysis save. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're 100 correct. 100 okay. correct. So it is still it, it's pummeled uh, Rainia fairly ineffectually, still demanding the brooch, but essentially a per. <laughs> I don't uh, think Rainia that brings us that brings us to Tantric. I throw them out there, get outside and yell, who wants to bang this so that I can attract attention? Uh, 16 four, on four, persuasion. 4, four a.m., I'm going to go ahead and roll, I'm going to roll percentile dice. 20, 20 or higher, there are people around. Drunks, drunks, drunks. <laughs> 80, 80 or higher, they're, in, they're too inebriated to get it up, so they're not going to be motivated by sexual. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say <laughs> there might not be the ability, but there might always be the motivation. I rolled a, I rolled a 60 on the nose anyhow. So you, you have successfully persuaded, uh, two able-bodied workers from down by the dock. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Oh, good. They I seem, found they, semen. They, 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 they seem... They seem, they seem uh, That's a win. <laughs> Scott oh, yeah. spit up. <laughs> no, I, I, I appreciate the joke, but I'm going to go ahead and say they seem capable and uh, a fair amount of strength and experience to them. Come on, boys. I'll show you where this is going to happen, and I lead them back in. I'm going to <laughs> go it. ahead and... Do one more roll to see what proximity they were to you. Because uh, that'll depend essentially if they're going to get there at the end of this turn or if they're going to have to roll next turn. Uh, oh, I they're roll. dashing after this shit. <laughs> well, yes, but they still may have been 100 feet away. I'm, I'm assuming that these things are like homing beacons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but but you're, you're in luck. They were actually just right up. They were just right around the corner. Uh, That's right, so, boys. Go so get it. <laughs> if, if you are choosing to... I'm leading them back in. You're, you're using your movement, and they are following expeditiously. I'm going to say that that talk was a free action. <laughs> so you, you, you can dash to get back into the I'm area of combat. I'm slowing but you, when I reach the oil. <laughs> very good. Thank you. I'm glad you remembered. Uh, but you didn't warn the sailors. That's okay. I'm going to use them as bowling pins. Yeah, I, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to say that even if you had tried, you wouldn't have had time to warn them. But uh, they are essentially You're welcome, right guys. Yeah, they are essentially right behind you. You are. I bet the, they are. <laughs> you are in the equipment room, past the oil. They are right before the oil. They will. Uh, they will Attack take next round. They will take initiative at the end of this round and then okay. roll to fall in next round. Gotcha. Uh, that brings us to Carol. Dun, dun, dun. So, going to take a couple more swipes. I, I mean, he hasn't moved anywhere, so still a melee. Uh, that's, oh, God, really? Those are both going to miss because that's a pair of twos on the dice. You're correct. If I do that right, <laughs> brings us to brings us to Scott followed by the semen, and then I am going to essentially make the following round the last round of the evening. Okay. 
Uh, I will. Uh, I will try. Um, I will try an eldritch blast. That's about all I can do. You are essentially now shooting at the sailors, so anything three or lower is going to hit one of them. And so I, I uh, missed the. Uh, I missed everything. Missed, missed okay. the revenant, and I missed the sailors. Okay, fair enough. They are going to see essentially what's going to what I'm going to ref, what I'm going to describe as a shot fired into the wall. Say, I thought I came down here for some pussy. What the fuck is this shit? And. I'm going to have Tantric make a persuasion check oh, to damn. see if they stick around because I didn't have you roll that earlier. 15 and plus two on charisma. 17 is going to be higher. Their dicks are the heads that they're thinking with in this particular moment. So they are Boys, going- follow the point. <laughs> Damn. If you kill this ahead. guy, that little uh, farty bitch back there will. Uh... <laughs> they're going. They're going to. Uh, they're going to farty bitch. Oh no, they're not farty bitch. They're not interested in farty bitch. Okay, they're, they can have they're, going, they're going to go ahead and crack crack their knuckles and expertly say, "If that's what you want, we got this under control." With 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 implications, I'm not going to say what they are. There's always an implication. There's, There's implications. Yeah. <laughs> OG, OGM, how good looking are they? Ooh, good question. Fair, fair question. Oh, well, one of them is one-eyed Willie. The other one is the other one is uh, Daniel Craig. I have met a few one-eyed Willies in my time. Yeah. <laughs> There, 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 that there, one's yours. <laughs> there is the salty. There is the salty dog who has been road hard and put away wet. And then there is the strapping young buck to his side. Who says oh, what, you're says, welcome, fuckers? <laughs> what was that, Carol? I says, who says they're gonna run off with her? I mean, you know, I kind of like the Daniel Craig one there. I was, I was going to say, I'm like, they haven't necessarily been able to perceive you yet because this is a fairly dark room, they just know that there are going to be implications if they are successful in slaying this thing. I.e. Rainia, you look good in a dark room, but let's see what happens when there's light. <laughs> hey, my <laughs> pretty good in a light room, too. What's your charisma? 14. 15. Sit down. <laughs> All right. Uh, the the old-timer uh, is unsuccessful in his dexterity save, and as He's he valiantly first. charges forward, eats eats pavement. Uh, so he is. I'm going to stay out of this for, out of this round because he was using his movement during that. Uh, the other one was successful and and is uh, has approached the revenant, and uh, okay, he, that was a 14. I'm going to say he has a short sword with plus two. Oh, he's yours too. If it's a short sword, <laughs> well, not, not, not a cork sword, just a short sword. So he is—he does successfully strike it with his uh, with his side arm. Is this the good-looking one? This is That's the good-looking one. one. Yeah, the the uh, the, the no. one, one, one eyed Pilly one, or one eyed Willie is uh, prone on the ground. He seems to be licking the gravel. Uh, that's going to bring us to the top of the order. I rolled for the sailors. They have an initiative of 12. So they're going to go before uh, Scott, but after everyone else. So uh, the Revenant does act first. He turns to the sailor who has just struck him. And... Uh... I am also, by the way, for those of you watching, I'm also not initiating its regeneration feature because you can't do more than 10. This thing is supposed to recover 10 hit points at the start of each turn. Good good call, Scott. Dick. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm like, just, just, telling you, just telling you, if it seems like this thing is a lot weaker than it should be, that's because it is. <laughs> uh, Making it improv, so, baby. That's what you wanted. It is, it is going to successfully strike him uh, just off the cuff. I'm going to say that these are second level fighters, uh, which would mean that they have HP of at least 16. So I'm going to say they have HP 20. OK. 
Okay. That's fair. Uh, he does. He does Especially connect with cake. Yes, he does connect with the uh, uh, one that just struck him though, and it is going to take uh, thirteen bludgeoning from one of its attacks. The other one misses. So he's acting pretty banged up. Uh, I'm going to effectively say that this is a charm spell that Tantric has them under. So give me a jiggle of the titties to see if he doesn't retreat. <laughs> 14, uh, charisma plus two. Hey, can I give her advantage on that roll? Uh, you, would, oh, you, would have to, you would have to give the help action that would take your turn. Oh, okay, fair. So, but I, am going to, I, I am going to say that a 16 is, stro is strong enough. The, the dick is strong with this one. <laughs> so. Uh, if I were a dinosaur, I'd be Rachosaurus Rex. Absolutely. So that is the Revenant's turn. That brings us to Frank. Uh, we are going to go... Uh, and again, regardless of the outcome, this is the, this is the last round. I'll go Frank. Vicious Mockery, because fuck it, why not? Uh, give me DC 12 versus Wisdom. As I look at it and go, you fuck as bad as you smell. It fails with a six, but it is <laughs> resistant to psychic damage. Okay, well, it, but it's still a disadvantage on its next. Well, it would have been it, it disadvantage on its. No, next no, 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 no. It, it doesn't. It, it's it's resistant to the damage, not the not the save. So okay. it's go ahead and roll. It's going to take half damage. Well, that's a four. So two. okay, so it does still take two. Yes, okay. that classy classy mouth of mine. And uh, do you want a bonus action or movement or, or what are you doing with the rest of your turn? Uh, I'll bonus action a dagger, I guess. Uh, uh, I, I'll bonus action a uh, cure wounds on the my, my mighty love, my semen. I'm going to give my semen a little bit of structure. Fair enough. Six. Okay. And, uh, he he and say, get your ass back in there. <laughs> he, he, he is re reinvigorated by his lady's confidence. Because Radio wants to bang you. <laughs> hey, thanks for bringing two. One for it each. Probably does. Yeah, one, yeah, one for each of you. you can roll I'm a giver. Roll. I give. So we'll roll That's what I do. Who's and I bend. Stuff. I'm uh, a bendy which, giver. <laughs> that does bring us to Carol. All right, you can join us. <laughs> Uh, can we kill this fucking thing first? <laughs> We're going to. Uh, okay, so that is uh, way above whatever it was if we needed. That's a 21. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that <laughs> is a 13. I think they both hit. Uh, those do both hit, yes. All right, come on. All right, so 10, 15, 18. 18 total? Yep. Uh, what kind? Oh, uh, all, all piercing, right? Here's, I think they're both what? Uh, short sort of slashing, right? Uh, okay, yeah, that, that, that's fine too. So okay. piercing and slashing. Okay, cool. Alrighty, it's pretty fucking banged up. Uh, and it's it like the, the hand that it's it, it, it continues to hold out, but it's 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 got the DTs. It's it's shaking pretty bad. It's it, it's sheer force of will still holding this thing up. Cymoral, uh, finish him! No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> are, 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 are the sailors? Right, sailors are first in me. The fourth uh, Hemsworth brother better kill this bitch. <laughs> one one eyed Pete stands up and falls flat back on his face. That guy's not getting laid. No. I mean, he's yeah, fucking the ground not, essentially at this no point. Angry at all. Uh, the other one uh, is going to connect once again with his short sword. Uh, and that's going to. He ahoy matey that one. <laughs> Guess how many hit points it's got left? One. <laughs> Isn't that one the way I, 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 Actually, just for color, it's two, but. This, oh, thing is uh, this, this thing is definitely looking finished. Okay, it's so always one. 
Simoral's turn? Yes, because that's essentially all he's going to do. And then he's going to, he, as, as he, as he, as he wa- wallops it, he looks back at Tantra uh, for, there we are. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. I'll, I'll cast Witch Bolt and hopefully I can hit this time. I haven't hit anything at all. You're Again, even... you are still You're essentially 19. Shooting... Dirty 19. Oh, 19 is more than enough. That what is... kind of damage is that? Does one that hit is... 2d12 lightning. Oh, lightning. Okay, cool. That's going to be eight, eight points of lightning damage. I'm going to say that this thing doesn't necessarily even crumple up dead. I'm going to say that it effectively evaporates. It's uh, now covered in crap. It's it it is it is it is destroyed. It it it's almost as if this form that had seemed so corporeal just moments ago was wasn't. And and there there's a, a spark of arcane light and, and it is vanquished. And let the fucking begin. <laughs> Uh, it, there is, uh, They'd be there is, there is, in Alcatraz or for color contact. I San again, Quentin, they be fucking in San Quentin. Get for color context, bringing it though around back to the stories that the rest have sold or have been telling. I'm going to say that as the rest of it evaporates, there is left a small coin with the same crest upon it. Oh, nice. And when it falls to the ground with an audible uh, tink, 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 tink. And uh, should we continue to further, you would be free to investigate it, but we're not fucking with that. Yay! Nice. You're Dang. fucking welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That's good. That's good. <laughs> really good. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, the, the way you all 136 your HP. Thanks, Scott. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. The hey, fire hey. giant enters the jail. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> hey, but, but, but yeah. Do you remember? I said, do you remember when we did the two shot? What that last battle was like? Yeah, yeah I essentially was. I'm like, I banished the one thing, and if it weren't for that, we would all have been fucked. And then you're yeah. still like oh, hiding behind we're, me. For we still were. Because one of our party members have been turned to the other side, and right, Hawker Brett, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? What? Someone was turned on the two shot? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Had, uh, he, yeah. And the last battle, he was he was turned against the uh, he was turned against the party, right? He, he was. I think it, I was outside, and I didn't see that. Yeah. No, you were, yeah, you were outside, and but I remember, um, yeah, that one of the party members got turned and was charging in Kyle and my director, uh, mine direction. And I'm like, yeah, oh, going bro- broken arrow, and it's like, fuck it, radiant, radiant light. Everyone, everyone that can see me takes damage. No, I was, I was actually thinking. I, I know that was a vastly op, you know, little, little <laughs> person there. But what I, what I wanted to see is that you know, every now and then, what happens when a DM finds either their party significantly underpowered or overpowered versus versus a creature and and i thought that you know you could, we, we could probably like you know start telling a story about you know how do you you know first of all how does it happen but then what does a dm do whenever whenever that happens and and you did exactly what you know what a dm should do and that is you you tone down and you you Basically, I, 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 you can either do it through, through through the HP or through the abilities or through the uh, bonuses to attack or through the abilities, or whatever. But you have to basically try to match the party that's facing the encounter to make sure it's not it's 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 not too OP. And that's that, that's that's kind of what I wanted to. I didn't. Well, no, I, I did intentionally put a a, a an overpowered NPC. <laughs> So, so I can show that part of the encounter about what a DM. Yeah, has. that was totally your. That was totally your intention there, Scott. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was. But, but <laughs> what, what, what do you think on my ruling that if at third level, if the knowledge cleric doesn't know how to turn this thing, I'm not giving anyone. I that. Gonna, I, if see, you see, can't see. roll above thirty, I'm not giving it to you. No, no, that's 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 really really good there because 
it has to be consistent with the story. I mean, I mean if you have a knowledge cleric that is that that uh, in of the party is is recognized to be the the expert on lore and knowledge and they don't know anything about it then you know how is your average barbarian saying yes this is what is this da, 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 da. no it, it 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 makes no makes no logical sense so that's that's how you handle that that's that's absolutely how you handle that your thoughts on that carol do you do you agree do you disagree um, or do you think that, you're, you think I, that if, I, if, as long as I you guess, roll, you... I don't know. To me, to me, I subscribe to the thing that different people have different experiences and you learn different things. So you could be, you could have studied this, but you may not have come across it in a book. You may not have come across in your adventures, but mm -hmm. this other person yeah. has. So, well, and, and, and that's why I said I made the DC in my head 30. Yeah. No, there, I mean, there, was, there was a way to overcome it, but you essentially weren't going to yeah it was a hard thing for everybody so i mean that's that's the dc thing but as for whether or not you know just because your knowledge cleric doesn't know it doesn't mean the rest of us shouldn't know it either that's i could it. have and slept if, with it if, if, if you had had higher <laughs> levels and would have had the opportunity for more for more world experience i would i would have been more inclined to agree with you and i would have lowered that dc significantly Oh no, I think you're that's it. I think you're fine by high DC, but that, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything against the DC. I'm just saying that just because one character doesn't know it and they're a knowledge expert doesn't mean that somebody else that, that was a set, that was my reasoning for why yeah. it was so no, high. No, that's rare. It's a rare creature. So I mean we probably haven't seen it. Yeah, it, it, it is a rare that's creature. Because I think he's I think he's still rolled twenty four, but in my head, yeah. like I said, even before I said any of that, I had said it at thirty. Now, what the uh, what 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 I like is that you can actually kind of draw a narrative path. You have a thief or a rogue that was robbing a gravesite, stole something that had tremendous value, and then a revenant, you know, came out of the grave and was chasing him. And this rogue now is running away, and he's thinking, "What is the most secure place <coughs> in the entire city?" It's going to be the jail, right? Okay. You know, iron bars, lots of guards. He's begging to get in. They're not letting him in. He kills him to try to find a place where he can run away and hide. And that's basically what happened. But the Revenant follows him. Yeah, and, and that's that's exactly what I was thinking. Is that this is he, this is his attempt to sequester himself until this thing runs out of energy? Exactly. Exactly. It, it, it's. I'm sorry, I didn't see that tantric. Could you throw that shit up again? Learn to improv. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Learn to improv. And none of us I, mean, I, I, I wouldn't have necessarily taken it in that direction based on Carol's initial description, but it was still able to be coherent enough. I tried to bring it back with the coin, you know, so that this is still an exploration path should the party decide to pursue it. You know, it is what it is. So there's it's I, I, I all I thought was was the uh, was the the starting point of a jail with the door open and the, and the uh, guards dead. And I got that from in, from a video game, actually, from Arc uh, from Arc Fatalis or maybe maybe it was one of the uh, maybe it was one of the Elder Scrolls where you start off in the jail. Nerd. <laughs> And, and, and I know you're getting tired here, Frank, and we're getting ready to wrap this up. But I, I want to, I, just a quick question. What do you think about the way I was describing to see if you were to receive assistance? Oh, yeah, that was fine. I mean, whenever the players go off the rails like that, you have to make shit up on the fly and you have to give, you have to give reasonable expectation. And I like the fact that due to the hour, uh, and I would have actually made him drunk and fight at disadvantage. But, and, and, well, no, and there was the opportunity for them to be drunk, but you just happened to successfully, or the the role came up as such that no, these were just. I got the teetotalers, so. But, but, yeah, well, no, you, no, no, you got the, you got the guys going and just on the DL giving each other handy J's and the. Uh, I just hope that uh, Rainia can satisfy both of them because I'm going to slip on out of jail so I don't get accused of murder. I have a feeling that one is satisfied enough on the ground, <laughs> but. I'm going to yeah, set yeah. him on fire as I walk by. <laughs> Daniel Craig one. He's the, he, other yes, he, he's the one that he's the one that was, that was taking the hits and, and looking back. It's like, I'm getting some, I'm getting pussy out of this, right? I, I, pussy galore. 
Roll a con check, Rainia. Too uh -huh. low, you get crabs. Too high, you're knocked up. Shot, man. It's, it's not going to matter. I, and you know what? His his performance is... Fine, fine. We're going to do this? A nine. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 no. I, uh, I would help him. Give him advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you're going to be fine. All right, so... A nine. <laughs> Two nines. That's disappointing. So what did you I'm say? Going to, I'm going to ritualistic guy identify this act. <laughs> what do you consider too high? That's a, a constitution. That would be a 13. Lucky. I would 13. say that you're safe. Thir yeah, 13 is nice. nice you're safe. safe in, in, yeah, in the mid area. Congratulations. You don't have to get close. Prudence, Prudence doesn't have to cast clothes hanger. <laughs> what about, wait, he doesn't pull out? Oh God, why are we getting into this? Wow! <laughs> holy um, holy yeah, shit! Yeah. So, so I, I've, I've kind of been trying to get us all there. Uh, Apparently, anyway. Rania is German. <laughs> <laughs> and by and by German, I mean Rania Boot. How do you spell your last name? B U K. Oh, I, I, I was going to say, and, and that germ is hepatitis C. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, you have a full name for her, Scott. That's what you missed on Saturday. She immediately went into the dog pile with Kyle and the captain, yeah. and then she instigated the next one. But at but yeah, point, it's, it's gonna say at some point if you guys want, I'll tell you the story of where I got this character from, but not now because that would take too long. May, maybe one day I'll tell you the story about why they all call me Pumpkin Butt. But in the meantime, uh, unless anyone happened. has any other final thoughts. This was well, fun. I had fun. We, we, we've been the murder hobos. This has been another shit show. I hope you were able to take it as a learning process. Uh, at least, if nothing else, I hope we were able to entertain you. Uh, well, Scott, to... Blake, and uh, what's your name again? Kyle. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. Uh, this Saturday's, uh, we're back to the campaign, as we mentioned at the start. Uh, Me? Carol, thinks she, Carol thinks she's going to be a new permanent fixture. Uh, oh, the <laughs> Yeah, I can bring in different characters when you guys murder the ones I bring in. So I, I was can... going to say, Perpetua is always looking for new personalities. But uh, from all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Bye. Bye.